Good morning, everybody. We are here at the beach um, in Destin. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sand is white. The water is beautiful emerald teal. So um, I've already been out here doing some meditation before I got started. I'm working with what I have on the video. Sorry, it's not perfect quality, but um, I wanted you to be able to see the beach, but also to see me. So um, let's start in an easy seated posture. Back is tall. And if you want, you can push pause on this um, and do about five minutes of just breath work and calming yourself down. That's exactly what I did. So I definitely encourage that. And then you can come back to this video after about five minutes of breath. And we're gonna get started here with our palms in an open posture, shoulders up back and down. And just breathe. We're incorporating that breath Connecting our mind to our body, our body to our soul. Deep inhale and exhales through the nostrils. Just matching your breath to the crashing waves. Allowing your nervous system to just come down. Get in that relaxed state. Go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. Whatever resonates with you in this moment. Every inhale, just bring in those positive thoughts every exhale just let go of anything that is not serving you in a positive manner today just let it go one of the best lessons in yoga is just to let go physically mentally emotionally and from here we're gonna make our way into um, child's pose any child's pose of choice Arms out in front of you, relaxed on the ground, and forehead on the mat, or you can take your arms back behind you and take a gaze out to the side. come up readjust and turn your head out the other way make sure that you're still breathing deep allow your body to just become closer to the earth your chest is tracking towards the ground slowly come out of this and we're gonna come straight into a low lunge so just pull your knees together and take one leg to the front of the mat and the other one is just resting with your toes and knees relaxed in the back hips are tracking towards the front supported holding on to one leg and the other arm is down on the mat try to flatten my little space out here should be fun for balance right go ahead open that knee come 
come back to center and let's go to the back of the mat. First, let your toes be pointed. Super long spine. Deep breaths. Settle in a little more. Go ahead, flex the toes. Get into that calf muscle. Maybe sink down just a little bit lower. If you can, take it all the way down. Beautiful, come right back into that low lunge. We're gonna slowly step back into kneeling plank and just move that other leg to the front for our low lunge. Relax toe and knee in the back. Allowing the hips to just open up this morning. I hold a lot of tension and tightness right here in this area of the hips. It's where I constantly stay tight and I really have to work to get that fluidity and motion and stretch. Go ahead, open out to the side. So you're just gonna roll onto the side of your foot. Big breath in. Every exhale is an opportunity to deepen. Just focusing on this very present moment. Try not to think about what just happened or what's ahead. Just really focusing on the present moment. Mindfulness. Take it back center and then all the way to the back of the mat, pointed toes. My hips are still off the ground. I'm gonna give my body a second to acclimate. And when you're ready, you can take this down to the ground. I'm gonna flex my toes first. Oh yes. And then allow it to come all the way down. To that lunge, send it back into kneeling plank. And we're gonna just work on building up some strength here, heating the core. So we're in kneeling plank or plank. Go ahead, turn your thumbs to where they're pointing straight up. Make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders. Take a big breath in stretch really far forward and then allow yourself to come down halfway push away breath out inhale lower exhale push inhale lower exhale push two more inhale lower exhale push and last one Beautiful, rest in your child's pose. Active this time, so knees together, elbows off the mat, forehead is resting. Head, tuck your toes under and find your first downward facing dog. Fingers out wide, elbows in and up. The heels are close to the mat, the head is relaxed. Good. Let's float one leg to the sky and step it all the way through for lunge. Find your way, get acclimated, and then take your hands up to the thigh 
and up to the sky. Hold and breathe. So spread those toes out nice and wide. Open into your warrior two. Breath in, reach it forward. And exhale back. Breath in, reach it forward. And back. Last time, reach it forward. Now reverse your warrior. down triangle pose. So to incorporate a little bit of strength here, you can reach out and over. Big breaths. And just let that go when you're ready. Good. We're going to frame the front foot. Go ahead and kind of come into a little half stance here. Make sure you're grounded. A couple of breaths. We're going to come up on the back toe and we're going to reach out with our arms to the halfway point. Go ahead, take a little bend in the front leg. Kick off if and when you're ready. Flat the arms back. Beautiful job. Go ahead, drop the arms down. Lift that leg. Standing split. Float the leg down. And rise up. Job. I'm going to try to get my little spot flat again. My foot was sinking in the sand. Hey, but I'm not complaining. Good. So we're going to go ahead and split our stance. Come into lunge on that other side. I'm definitely sinking. Arms rise up. Suck the belly button in, breathe deep. Settle the shoulders, relax into each posture. Go ahead, open into your warrior two on this side. And let's begin to breathe. Inhale, reach it forward and back. Inhale forward, exhale it back. Inhale it forward, reverse your warrior. Windmill it down into your triangle. Hold here, reach for the sky down with that other hand. Really stretch your side body. And let's strengthen here, arm out and over. Relax when you're ready. Frame the foot, shorten your stance. Good. Get nice and grounded. Maybe a few breaths just flowing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time stay up. Spread those toes out. It's a little difficult in the sand to come into Warrior 3, but we're going to try it. Don't let it stop you just because it's hard. Lesson for on and off in that. So get a little bend in your knee. 
come up on the back toe. Extend those arms forward. When you're ready, launch off and arms back. Arms can come to chest too. Hold and breathe. When you're ready, you can just float the arms down into the standing split. Beautiful lift, lift. Get close to the base leg. Awesome job. Float it down. Hang out in your forward fold. We're gonna flow through a couple of sun salutations here. You can do them modified or full out. Your choice. So just roll it up into your mountain pose. Now is a great opportunity to recheck in with your intention. up inhale exhale hold take a half lift inhale step into your plank or kneeling plank lower your body halfway down chaturanga upward facing dog or cobra exhale downward facing three cycles of breath Between the hands, step or hop to the front. Take a half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Come through your heart. And let's flow again. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Step all the way down, chaturanga. Toes or knees. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Look between the hands, step or hop to the front. Last time, half lift, breath in, exhale it down. Reverse swan dive. And let's repeat it again. Come to your heart, breath in, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Look between the hands, step or hop. Half lift. Hang out here. Push your shoulders away from the ears. Stretch your tailbone to the back of the mat. Lengthen through the spine. Beautiful. Drop your hands down. Take a breath. Go ahead and step into your plank. Hold and breathe here. Good job. Let's come into a side plank. You can have one knee down or not. Totally up to you. Get grounded first. Find some good support. And then open into your side plank. Go ahead, lift your knee if you can and extend your toes up to the sky if possible. Breathe through it. Put that leg back down. Come back to center. And let's try it on the other side. So take a break here in your plank or kneeling plank. Recapture your breath. Find solid ground for the other arm. Open up into side plank. Extend. 
extend that arm. Breathe. When you're ready, lift the, the knee up to the sky, then kick out if you'd like. Drop it down, come back center, hold and breathe. Beautiful job, knees down. Then we're gonna put our chin and chest on the ground. Keep your hips high. Just lower down super slow and push it down. Any relaxing posture. moment of gratitude, a moment of peace, and appreciation. Find something on your body to be grateful for. Zaya Summit um, weekend. It's virtual this, this year because of COVID, but 30 of the girls got together on a beach. And so the theme of our training this weekend is stronger. So you can repeat that in your mind. It's such a beautiful word that can take on so many different forms and so many different reasons. So in the way that it has meaning to you, just repeat a simple affirmation of, I am strong. Breathe that in. Exhale and let go of any anxiety or fear that surrounds that topic for you. What's holding you back? Let it go. Soak in only what is building you up, what is making you stronger. Let go of any of those insecurities or weaknesses. And from here, we're gonna just make our way into locust pose. So we're gonna just take our arms out in front of us and we're gonna lift our arms and feet off the ground, but first get um, everything squeezed in together. So you're gonna like squeeze your ankles, squeeze your inner thighs, your knees, everything squeezed in, and then you're gonna squeeze your body up. So you're flat like this, and then it's gonna look like this. So arms out, and everything squeezed in together tight. Now lift everything up only thing that's touching the ground are your thighs and maybe your rib cage lift lift squeeze in breathe in three two one drop it down relax and turn your head out the other way So we're gonna take the arm that we're gonna lay on, um, the side that we're gonna lay on and put it down below you. So just kind of have it behind you, okay? Have it behind you, and then you're kind of just using this hand for balance. Go ahead, take the top leg and put it to the back. So you've just got like little scissors here. now I want you to take that top leg, bend your knee, see if you can hand your foot over to your fingers. Grasp on 
and hold and breathe here. Maybe take a gaze up. Maybe move your arm up so that you get that deep stretch along your side. Let go if your muscles are super tight and clenched. And if you can't reach your foot just yet, I want you to reach as far as you can and then let go of the judgment of what it should be and let it just be what it is. Everybody's is gonna look different. Deepen it any way you can. Take a big breath in and relax out. Beautiful. Go ahead, let go of that foot. We're gonna slowly start to make our way back home in the center and then we'll switch out directions. We're gonna go for that other side. So you're gonna put your um, shoulder underneath you, roll it over. Make sure your arm is back behind you, split the legs. Use your top arm for balance. Bend your top knee, reach for it with the hand. Relax the muscles down. Look up. Bring your arm up for a deeper stretch. And relax. go and just flip yourself over onto your back. <laughs> just take a minute here. Making sure y'all can see me okay. I want you to be able to see the water more than me. Just have your knees upright and your feet planted and I want you to just rock your knees from side to side. Wow. The moon is directly above me. How is that even possible? It's literally like straight. If you drew a line, it's like right there. I'll show y'all here in a minute. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because you know like phones never do it justice like you can see this beautiful sunset or this beautiful moon and then you take a picture of it and it looks like a dot <laughs> but right now it's right above me which is really cool all right so we're gonna just cross one leg over figure four with our legs reach through grab behind the knee pull the legs in tight oh yes i need this one Man, am I tight. Both feet are flexed. Breathe deep. Good, go ahead, cross the legs now. Pull them in tight. Open your arms into a T posture. And we're gonna let this go into a twist. So even though your legs are crisscrossed, just let them fall over to the side in the crossed position. Arms open, both shoulders on the mat. Look away from the legs. job guys we're gonna do it all on the other side when you're ready slowly make your way back to center back home knees are up just windshield wiper side to side let's come into that figure four on the other side 
place your heel right in the middle of your thigh, reach down, bring the legs in close, breathe. Try to square your body off, get centered, let go of what's next, hold on to this moment, find your edge, challenges you, but you're able to keep your breath. Like crisscross the legs, deepen in this posture if you'd like, pull them away from each other and in close to the chest at the same time. Release the legs down in a twisted posture, knees down to the ground, open the arms, look away. center let's prep for bridge so the feet are in close to the bottom the knees are up to the sky we're gonna plant our palms down right beside our hips into the ground push through your heels lift your hips to the sky and then we're gonna come into the shoulders with all the weight chest and chin meet and we're gonna float one leg up to the sky if possible. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze everything up. Little higher. Switch legs. Just hug your knees into your chest and rock that out side to side. A few last breaths here. If you need any final postures, now is the time to go for it. I'm gonna let you guys end in Shavasana on your own. I'm gonna see if I can give you a little tour really fast as you're laying here. I don't know if you guys can see the moon. I'm sure it's far and it's hidden behind the clouds. It's about to pop out maybe. Let's see if it does. If not, just watching the clouds is always fun. There it is. Hopefully you guys can see it in the middle of that blue little hole there. And, um, excuse the crazy beat chair. It is a real thing. <laughs> I hope you guys feel amazing. Take a gaze at the water. So beautiful. And then I'll show you guys the house that we're staying in is right there. So right on the water, literally, which is super nice. Let me see if I can walk over here and we'll see how um, clear the water is. And then I do want y'all to take some time and finish your practice today in Shavasana. Spend at least five minutes. Wow, it is super clear. But there is, I can't tell if it's a jellyfish or a paper sack or a plastic sack. But it's big, whatever it is, it's the size of a plastic sack. Super beautiful, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for being live with me or on the recording. 
I will see y'all later. Today they air my video um, for the 7,000 people to watch. So say a little prayer for me. I'll be nervous around 3.30. Um, that's mountain time though. So, all right guys. Mwah.